This is Drama Queens, where we celebrate the best of Broadway. A little reminder, the Tony Awards are this Sunday. So remember that. <laughs> right now, I'm with two Tony nominees from the musical Oklahoma, Ali Stroker and Mary Testa. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank How you. How does it feel? It's always wonderful to be nominated. It's always wonderful to be recognized for your work. I'm sure. I'm sure. And also, I will say this for the record. I saw the show. You deserve all the recognition because it was incredible. Thank truly you. incredible. Thank you. Thank you. So Oklahoma is a very famous musical. But when I left the show, so I immediately thought, I've never seen it done this way. <laughs> what was it like approaching the show in this way? And what is different for you doing these roles? Yeah, I came into uh, this production when we were doing it at St. Anne's Warehouse mm. this past fall. And it was unlike any process I had ever been in. We began the first day of rehearsals on the set mm -hmm. and just speaking the lines. And so often Oklahoma, a lot of the book, the scenes in between the songs are skimmed over and they're not actually addressed. And Daniel Fisher, our director, has just done such a beautiful job in bringing out all of the truth and the darkness mm -hmm. in this script. Mm -hmm. What about for you? Well, I've been with it since the beginning, mm -hmm. so I'm very used to the process and just exploring, just trying to make sense of each line and mm -hmm. trying to find a backstory that makes sense. And, um, and it's the kind of work I enjoy doing the most, so uh, it doesn't feel like a different process mm -hmm. to me because it's very organic mm -hmm. and I adore Daniel, so... Um, and it's a wonderful company of actors, so um, it, it feels very natural and very normal. I've never seen a production of Oklahoma, mm. but I can glean that it's, uh, ours is a very different. It is different <laughs> on, on yes. very, uh, many levels, but one level that I enjoyed the most was the food. So during intermission, we <laughs> yeah. we'll serve food. Yeah. So who cooks this food? Is it actually the prop? No. No, it's caterers. It's <laughs> oh, really? every so night, and they you have a I do make... Uh, a mixture of cornbread in the mm -hmm. beginning of the show, but you wouldn't really want to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, how do they bake this so quick? Like, they are out here acting and yeah, making cornbread? No, no, no. That's amazing. I know. So what else is amazing about the show is that it has eight nominations for Sunday. But this is, how many times have you been nominated now? Three? This is my third time. Third. Yes. So does yeah. it get tired of being so amazing and winning? No. So <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> no. It's wonderful to get dressed up and find something fabulous to wear and uh, and be with, the wonderful thing about it is being with all of the other actors who are all friends of mine, mostly from other shows, and that camaraderie and seeing your fellow people, like Brooks Eshman, mm -hmm. who I've known for years, and, and being at parties with him and going, can you, you know, can you believe this? Is this great? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Uh, it's wonderful. It's mm -hmm. just really wonderful. And Ali, you recently got an award yourself. The, the yes. Desk Award. Yes, right? yes, I won the Drama Desk. The Drama Desk Award. Yeah. Um, what was it like giving that acceptance speech? And I have to ask, because I know that you come from the Glee world, have you been practicing this speech your whole life? No, I have not. And I was most nervous about if I were to win what I was going to say. But I also just had no idea what it was going to feel like. I've never won an award for theater. Mm -hmm. You know, like for sports, I used to horseback ride. But mm -hmm. like for theater, it's a little bit different. And when my name was called, I screamed. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? <laughs> then I came out and I did this really sort of weird dance out on the stage, but I was very excited. We and were very excited for it, too. I mean, Thank I, you. I was so excited yeah. when I found out today. Thank it's you. It's a huge, huge thing. And something about your character in the show that I love the most is that I've always wanted to be that girl. She's the most desired. Men are literally fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like to play a sex siren on, on the stage? Ooh. Well, I think what is so fun about playing Ado Annie every night is that she does not apologize for what she wants wants mm -hmm. and she pursues her wants and her desires the entire show for three hours and um you know i work with two different guys mm -hmm. and uh it's been so fun finding the physical um world mm -hmm. that that we we have and the intimacy oh. and can't say no is just such a blast to sing it's such a fun song and um it really is her anthem no. you know oh, my hair looks good i just saw it too. <laughs> yes you both look great hair it looks glowing, yeah. glowing. Did you do a lot of training for all the athleticism before the show? Because watching all of you run around, but especially you were running from man to man. When I'm running after a man in a bar, it's tiring. <laughs> You're doing it on stage many times a week. I love it. <laughs> what was training like? What's so cool about doing eight shows a week is after a while, your body just knows how to do it, yeah. and you just become used to it. So... 
Yeah, in the beginning during previews, I remember after Farmer and the Cowman coming off stage and being like totally winded mm -hmm. and being really out of breath. And then after a few weeks, it's like your body knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. get into, sh I call it show shape. Show shape. You yeah, know? it's really true. <laughs> I love yeah. that. I should ask the Temptations that because they run a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like, you, what are you, Beyonce training every day? <laughs> it's show shape. <laughs> it's show shape. That's good. I like that. Yeah. So you both are nominated in the same category. Mm -hmm. And I know you're dear friends and you've been a mentor for, for Ali. Um, what is that like going into the show knowing that you are each other's competition but each other's family? You know, I don't look at it as competition. I, I'm pretty sure Allie's going to get it. So I'm very no, happy. No, no, I'm very happy for her. I'm very happy mm. for all my friends in mm -hmm. that category. It could go, actually, it could go anyway. But, um, uh, you know, it's, it, you cannot, it, it's not a competition. It's a, a community. You know what I mean? And the people who suffer the most make it a competition. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so uh, it's just about enjoying it and, and reveling in the community of people who are recognized because there's a whole lot of people who are brilliant who aren't recognized. So sure. you can't say, you know, mm -mm, you mm -hmm. can't go there. You just have to enjoy it and, you know. Yeah, and the nomination is just yeah. such just beautiful recognition. It's lovely. And then they bring together this community. You know, this is the first time I've ever done this. But for me, I've looked up to Mary. I've looked up to all these people that are nominated for my entire career and my life mm -hmm. since I got yeah. into theater. And so it just feels so, um, like, like pinch me, please, that I have arrived in this place. Mm -hmm. And the nomination to me is like a part of winning, yeah. you know? It's and, massive. and then, really nice. and then we, uh, you know, my boyfriend and I keep talking about, you know, the night of the Tonys. There's no such thing as losing, you know, either you arrive mm -hmm. and you'll get it mm -hmm. or, you leave, and you're the same person. Exactly. And you get to do the show eight mm. times a week. There's the prize. It's, it's quite magical. It's kind of like you get to do what you love, and you're also getting recognized for what exactly. you love. Exactly. Yeah. So you I get to wear a great dress. That too. Yes. yes. Exactly. Uh, gowns are everything for that. Have you yes. got gowns yet? Yes. Oh my God, I can't wait oh, to see sad. that. Like this. Wait. <laughs> so you speak of love of each other, and I'd love to test you both. It's a little, little game. Okay. So I'd love to hear from each of you three words that you describe the other person. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Allie, you seem very ready for this. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Fierce, loving, and extraordinarily talented. Oh, that's so sweet. Two words at the end. You're extra special. <laughs> Okay, I have to think about this, actually. I can't let the... Allie's extraordinary... Okay, the words. Extraordinary. Um, role model. That's two words, but... It's fine. And, you know, brilliantly talented. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I will say that you're... Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Well, I will say that you're both brilliantly talented, and okay. I cannot wait to see you perform on Sunday at the Tony. So thank you thank so you. much for spending Thank you very much for having thank us. Thank you for it's having been us. Lovely. Of course, and thank you for being here. So again, the, the Tony's are this Sunday, and if you haven't seen the seen the show, excuse me, I almost burped in front of you. I'm so That's sorry. That's all right. I uh, definitely check out the Rogers and Hammer signs, Oklahoma, <laughs> at the Circle in the Square Theater. Up next, I speak with Raymond Braun about the state of pride. Stay tuned.